Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a tag team match and is a semi-final in the NEPA Cup Tag Team Tournament. Yeah. Introducing Kurt. I know we just signed the deal, but I need my advance on the next one too. They know I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I need it. Your boy don't want some more. Sam Thompson seems to have substituted Hyena. You would mentioned the, the Freebirds rule, perhaps. Seems to be allowed in the tournament, it seems. Eric Pinhat with a nagging injury from one of the, uh, uh, for the first round against Philly Mike and Riley Crow. So Brad DeMeo starting the action against Tonawa. Uh, Brad DeMeo's power on display, Marcus. It always seems like he gets stronger as these matches go on. <laughs> Explaining his weight to Tonawa, attempting to lift Brad. And Brad slimmed down over the years, turn, turn that weight into muscle. I've seen some videos of Brad DeMeo deadlifting probably three times Tonawa's weight now. Lock up. Now it's going to have to use, try and use the speed against the power. We can create some distance from Brad DeMeo's deadly grip. Arm breaker there over the shoulder. A wrist lock now by DeMeo. There's that agility you were talking about, that quickness, Marco. Sweep out now. Awesome quickness by DeMeo now. Hey! Fire. 
Thompson possibly trying to step in there. The break, of, the break of the eyes by Tonawa. They're shameless with it. Oh, kick to the bad knee. Smart strategy now, but not bad enough. Then Hat still with a series of hip tosses on pretty boy Nick Thompson. This is the first time this tournament Thompson actually fought in the pole and not his own tag. <laughs> He's hanging onto the ropes now. Slipping out perhaps a breather. <laughs> men trying to strategize for the power of Diamond City. So now we're waving them off now. Are they, do they believe it's not worth fighting Diamond City to continue this tournament? Diamond City following suit now. Then <laughs> Hatton DeMeo on the attack now. Uh oh, sending Tonawa into the ring apron. Thompson into the into the post and a post for Tonawa. Diamond City running rough shot on these men now. Rendemayo claimed it was in the bag, but those boots are into his guts. Thompson playing a bit of possum with him. You have to think that Thompson may be the freshest man in this tournament, as when he was tagging with Miguel de Barrio. Perhaps uh, Hyena and Tonawa were pulling punches, uh, Marcus? Be so. So now a stepping onto the Mayo, some quick tags in and out. Our top tier on Diamond City. Thompson has an amazing ability of lowering his opponent's head. Perhaps it's that pretty face of his, using it to distract the referee while Tonawa does damage on the outside. But referee Ryan Dennis sees it. Both men starting to focus their attack on the knee. A smart strategy. These are war machines. These machines cannot operate without a strong base. Pinhat reprimanding referee Ryan Dennis now, talking about cheating by the opposing team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. communication by Top Tier now. Some disagreement going on. Seems to be some deception there between Top Tier. Perhaps egos getting in the way. One man wants to win. Uh, it seems like they're back on the same page. The the crowd getting behind the war machines now, chanting Diamond City. Meeting of the minds, DeMeo rolls out, tags in Pinhat. fired up. Tearing down the opposition now. Win Hat's had enough. Oh, Tonawa seems to have grabbed an object from, from ringside here. He's loading up his hands as that baby powder perhaps. Got into the eyes of Nick Thompson. Sends him into his partner. He can't see! Delivers a DDT to his own partner! Nick Thompson, blinded! What a, what a nice man Brad DeMeo is. 